Hello, my name is Chris and I'm a U-Haul hitch professional. If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Volkswagen Taos, then you're going to need trailer wiring. It is required by the law. Now let's take a look at how we complete this install. You will need the following tools and supplies to complete this installation. For this wiring installation, we are going to use a universal zero contact interface wire harness. We will get our signal in the cargo area of the vehicle using the zero contact induction boxes. So let's go ahead and open the cargo area and pop the hood because we need to work in the engine compartment as well. So let's go ahead and disassemble the cargo area to find where we're gonna bring the power wire in. You can now gently pull up on our scuff panel Go ahead and lift up on this tab, as well as one right here. Clear your tow hook. Remove this screw with a T15 Torx bit. Pull back enough trim to expose five retainer clips. Three here and two here. there is a access to a grommet that we're going to run the power wire through. We're gonna go ahead and jump to the engine compartment and affix our fuse holder connected to the battery. For this installation, we're going to use a U-Haul exclusive fused power wire lead we call Power Wire 1. One of the reasons we prefer our Power Wire 1 is the pre-braided section that will keep the wire protected from hot parts in the engine compartment. This is also why we start in the engine compartment and work our way backwards. Do note you will need to provide a 10 amp fuse into the fuse holder. Let me show you how we put those together. You will need to insert the power wire into the fuse holder. Insert them like so until you hear the click. Tape your wire to your fishing pole. Be sure you're taping the non-braided end. The best route to the rear of the vehicle is always your hard metal brake lines. Pass this through and get to the underneath of the vehicle. Now that you have passed the wire safely through the engine compartment, avoiding hot parts as best you can, follow the brake lines to the rear of the vehicle. Underneath the driver's side, you will find a trim panel. You can remove various clips or fasteners to lower a portion of the trim panel and hide the wiring underneath it and return the trim panel back to the vehicle. Once at the back of the vehicle, I made sure to go up and over all the suspension parts and over this section of frame and cross member pass through here and we've zip tied it to this exhaust bracket and we're now ready to pass it into the vehicle through the grommet take your previously removed grommet here's a hole with a screwdriver so you can pass the wire from this side into the vehicle now insert it back in and pull the wire through fix a ground screw you can now strip your two wire ends and affix the butt connector we prefer to use a heat shrink butt connector. It will not be included in the set. We can now shrink the plastic with our butane powered soldering iron and torch. Follow the wire harness from the tail light and we're going to cut away some of the protective tape to expose the different wires and figure out what is what on the passenger side, we will be able to use this punch out to access the wires as we don't need to route the power wire out the vehicle, but we do need to remove some of the trim. Now that we're ready to begin testing some wires, we will stick the fuse in, secure with zip ties to a hard brake line and hide your power wire behind the battery before we affix it to the vehicle. This style nut does not want to fully come off for safety. And with the ring terminal not fitting, we need to make a small cut so we can get it behind the nut. Test your vehicle wires to determine functionality and then place the induction boxes over the proper wires. We can now apply our double-sided sticky tape to our converter box so we can finally affix it into place. Now that the converter box is affixed, we can go ahead and zip tie up some of these wires, clean them up, and begin putting the interior trim back together.
use the provided foam to seal each ZCI box on both sides of the vehicle. For those of you who will keep the wires in the cargo area like our customer, you can coil them up, use the dust cover like a reusable tie, and they can now be stored down here for future use. That concludes a zero contact interface wiring on a Volkswagen Taos. Thanks for hanging in there and we can't wait to see you out there. Remember, practice safe trailering. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with your local U-Haul hitch professional, please visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.